Bora! What's up Trojans and welcome back to Front and Central. I'm Miles Hill. And I'm Hunter Haas. I hope you've been winter festing this week. You know, flannel day was on Thursday and I saw some mighty fine flannels all over campus, but today is white out. I got this. There you go. Hey Trojans, we've got hockey covered for you including highlights from last week's victory over West. Coming up, Front Central will take a look inside the Men of Note. Plus, we'll give you a lowdown on the Writing Center here at Central. Congratulations to Peyton Smith for signing with the University of Michigan on Wednesday. And this past Tuesday, our varsity girls basketball team took on St. Francis. Our Lady Trojans put pressure on St. Francis in the first quarter, leading them in the first quarter of the game. However, they lost momentum towards the ending, but they did come out blazing in the second quarter as they tried to even up the game before halftime, trailing by just 5, 19 to 24. After halftime, our Lady Trojans got back into the game, making it just a two-possession game. But sadly, in the fourth quarter, they could not get the lid off the basket and finish with a hard final of 53-35. to Congratulations to Karina Stewart for leading the team with 15 points. Later today, our Lady Trojans take on Petoskey, and after the conclusion of the game, our Winterfest dance is coming up and is your chance to bust some serious moves and shake off the winter blouse. The dance looks like it should be a lot of fun. Although we wrap up Winterfest today, last week our Trojan hockey team sent West home crying at Howe Arena and completely dominated our crosstown rival in the Jeffrey J. McCullough Cup. The final score was 5-2 with a goal in the first period coming from Charlie Douglas. Three second period goals from Hunter Folgman, Nick Martin, and Tyler Esmond, followed by another goal from Carson Peters to put the icing on the cake in winning the McCullough Memorial Cup. Well done, Trojans. Our Men of Note Choir got a perfect score at District Solo and Ensemble. Wow, that is pretty impressive. Front and Central's Becca went down to cover what they're truly all about. Hi, I'm Rebecca Bello reporting for Front and Central. This week we're taking a look at the choir group Men of Note. Men of Note is an auditioned ensemble that meets uh, outside of school two days a week and it's made up of 9th through 12th graders. I have been directing Men of Note for 14 years. Men of Note, they are, the guys that make up Men of Note, they are so fun to uh, rehearse with. Um, they're awesome friends. They are buddies. Um, and what's cool is that they trust each other so much as an ensemble that they are able to make really good music together. And that's kind of the magic that happens with um, smaller ensembles that meet outside of school. There's a higher level of expectation um, they play hard, they work hard. Now that you know some of what the choir does, let's see what the men do. So, I sing baritone and men a note. So, there's four basically male ranges uh, for men a note. There's tenor one, which is the highest, tenor two, baritone and bass. So baritone is like, kind of in that middle range. Uh, I sing tenor two in men of note. A tenor just means like it's someone who sings higher. I mean like a bass baritone is going to be usually your lower male range and then tenor is like your higher male range. It's just like any other choir, we get music for every concert. There's a fall concert, a winter concert, and a spring concert. And it's an after school, con or an after school choir. And we just kind of get together and it's a lot of fun with all the guys. And people I knew who were in it said it was a a fun thing and I like to challenge myself so I auditioned freshman year and got in. My favorite part of Men of Note is just being with all my best friends. I, I really wanted to spend more time with them. I already do musical but any more time I can spend with them is time I enjoy. If you're already in choir even as a freshman you can audition the next year. If you really love singing and you love just being around your friends and doing it together then I think you should join Men of Note. It seems like they have a great time together. I'm Rebecca Bella reporting for Front and Central. Morning, dawn on our dawn. Great job, Men of Note. Yeah, good work. Throughout high school, writing papers is a big part of school, so at Central we have a writing studio to help you on all of your papers. Front and Central's Alex Olin found out more. I'm Alex Olin with Front and Central. 
The LMC's Writing Center is a place where, oddly enough, you can get help from your own classmates. Writing is a particularly difficult task, and several students need several takes when it comes to writing a different type of document. Therefore, I think that having student mentors assist them in that process rather than always hearing feedback from adults is a great service to those students and probably helps them advance a little bit more quickly. The feedback that I've received from staff members has been that the studio has been functioning quite well. They have really appreciated the fact that the students spend so much time going to the classrooms and helping the students in the classroom. The student mentors I spoke to seem to love their time at the writing studio. Uh, I've really enjoyed it a lot. Um, mainly, you know, also helping students with their writing and um, it's also helped like me uh, gain some friends. The community at the writing studio is really friendly so we all kind of help each other. Um, my time in the writing studio has been really fun. It's really fun to be in the writing studio and it's really fun to work with people who need help but it's also a good hour to like do your homework if there isn't anybody to mentor. You can seek the mentor's guidance on a paper and need Monday through Thursday during school hours. Reporting for Front and Central, this is Alex Olin. That seems like that could really help me as the second semester rolls on. Yeah, it really truly does look like a good resource students could benefit from. Student Senate would like to congratulate Mr. Hester and Mr. Glickman being the first student staff member of the month. Troji himself awarded the teachers with certificates. Keep an eye out for voting next month. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, hit the alleys at Lucky Jack's this Saturday at 8 a.m. Well, that wraps up this week's episode of Front and Central. Have fun at the dance tonight, Trojans. Plus.